Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing this beautiful mushroom painting that I was willing to do it since a long time and finally after a lot of research I made this in a very illustrative style with a lot of textures. So let's go ahead and check out the original photograph that I referenced. Do you see these wild mushrooms? It does have some flaky textures on the top. So we will try to try to recreate this today and this is the reference picture that I'll be attempting. So for that I have taken my 300 GSM watercolor paper. This is a 100% cellulose paper and the first thing I'll do is I'll quickly go ahead and quickly sketch out this mushroom. So today I'll be using my masking fluid to quickly go ahead and mask this mushroom. I have tried to go without the masking fluid but I did not like the outcome. Hence I'm finally using the masking fluid to paint this. And if you don't have a masking fluid, you can just go ahead without it. But if you don't have, I will strongly recommend you to get one. This is available for around 450 rupees in India on Amazon. I will put the link under the description. And if you're in the US, you will be paying about $8 for it. A very useful tool, a watercolor artist must have this in their kitty. So I'm just applying a thin layer of it and once this is dry, we will go ahead and proceed. Alright, so the masking fluid is dry and I'm now applying generous amount of water, clear water onto my paper. And the first color I'll be applying is Prussian blue color and some yellow ochre. This will depict the ground and now I'll be applying some lime green color and the place where it will overlap with the Prussian blue it will turn out to be dark green so the wet on wet will give it a very blended and a beautiful finishing. So for the bottom I'm also applying burnt sienna And as I wanted very soft edges, I'm just applying some water on the outsides so as to blend the harsh edges. So to create some added texture, I have picked up some clean water onto my brush and sprinkling it around to create these beautiful blooms. Let's dry this up. Let's erase the masking fluid very slowly with the help of a regular eraser. So guys, my students do complain about their paper ripping at this point. So there are two things I would like to make sure that, please make sure that your watercolor paper, you're using the right side of it, which is the correct side of it, and use an eraser to slowly peel off the masking fluid like I am doing. This will ensure that you never tear up your paper and your painting will not be ruined. So try this method, I'm sure you will find this very helpful. So my latex is almost removed and then we will go ahead with the coloring part. Now I'm using yellow ochre to go ahead and create the bottom part of the mushroom. At this point this is looking very dark but as you know watercolor dries up very pale so this color will turn out to be very light. And our light source is supposed to be from the right hand side so the right hand side of the entire mushroom will be lighter in color. So I'm just picking up some yellow ochre from the right hand side by applying some clear water. Now wetting the top part of the mushroom, we will go wet on wet on the top part and I will be picking up some 
cadmium orange color to very carefully color the top part. Applying cadmium yellow color here and just make sure the blending of this part is very smooth. So I'm applying one more layer to intensify the orange color. Let's repeat the step for the other mushroom. Here, the outside, the entire mushroom outside part will be cadmium yellow color and the inside will be cadmium orange. And I will try to keep the right hand side a bit lighter in color so as to show that the light source is from the right hand side. So now it is dried up. I'm using a black color which is almost like a grayish black color to go ahead and create the insides of the mushroom. And let's apply some shades on the stem as well. As the yellow ochre dried up very pale, I'm applying one more layer so as to intensify. And now at this part, you can see that I am just using my wet brush to scrub off and just pick it up with a wet tissue so as to create those flake textures onto our mushroom. And now time to apply some shadows. I'm just wetting the bottom part and I have mixed up some moonlight blue and some black to create the shadows. And now just making some random twigs with the help of burnt sienna, some yellow ochre and some black. And to finish off the painting, I'm finally using my white gel pen to just make the bottom part a little more visible and I'm just highlighting that part. Alright, so it's done. So I really enjoyed making this uh, video guys. I loved the way it turned out with a lot of textures which is a very imaginative kind of a painting so i hope you try this out and you enjoy it as well do leave me your comments as to how you liked it and i hope you subscribe to my channel and do check out the other videos already uploaded and if you happen to make it do tag me on instagram at easy paintings by ishita see you again have a lovely day guys bye bye